I am blessed today. I need to learn. We need to learn, though. I need to learn, though. I need to learn. Praise Lord Jesus. I am so, so excited. Earlier, once of the day, I saw a vision. And I saw a captain here. So he was, he just stood very great and he just moved as he was was going all of us were, were, were following him I then realized he was taking us to a pool of Siloam praise the Lord based on the little understanding I had on the word of God I realized that he was taking us to the place of eyes opening. Mm. Now because the, the first work of the church, the work done for the past 2,000 years by the anointing mm. has not really opened the eyes clear. Yes, sir. Mm. Now the work of the 2,000 years, <laughs> they were the work in, in your Jesus pleaded on the ground, this and touched the eye. Yet, the eyes was not open. <laughs> so he now gave instruction. Go to the pool of Siloam. I will check the root of Siloam. It has to do with God. So on the third day, the eyes shall be open. Amen. So there is an eyes opening program going on. And I'm excited that the eyes opening program is going on here. Amen. Amen. The argument we have been having is a sign that we have not looked into the word of God. He said he had declared the end from the beginning. So when you go to the beginning, you see the end. If we understand the Nazareth vow, <laughs> we won't talk about whether he died or not. If we understand that the Lamb of Passover was slain and died. Slain. We won't argue. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now because he was the only one who died. Now, now because if you examine the vow, hallelujah. Now among the three things that a Nazarite, amen, no blood should touch his head. He shall not take anything of fine yes. and totally touching the dead. Yes. Then we find out that in those scripture, the only thing that defied him is touching the dead. Yes. That was the only thing that defied him. So when you study the scripture, you find out that um, Samson was a Nazarite. Yeah. John was also. But all of them go to the place of death. Yes. But none of them renew the vow. Mm. It was only one that go to the, the place of death. I renew the vow. Mm. There is a program of eyes opening. Yes, sir. Mm. Paul didn't see it all. Come on, come on. Paul said we saw partially in the glass again. We saw partially. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard. There are things that the church have not seen yet. So this is the generation. The generation that we read the seed book. That is a generation that we read and understand now the book was seen he gave the one who was learned he said I can't read but finally said that a time has come Come on now. when they will read the book come on. and understand the book they will read the book and understand the book so it is given to us to understand the mysteries of the kingdom listen to me the kingdom is not about going to 
heaven. It's a miracle yes. to heaven. That's right, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. Grace, grace. Hallelujah. Why do you stop? Why do you stop? Hallelujah. Why do you stop? The grace. The kingdom is not about going to heaven. God is not about going to heaven. Where is it all about? God's agenda. God's agenda for Adam was not going to heaven. It has nothing to do with the heaven. Pastor Tony says something. He talked about heavenly man. Now in uh, in Israel, every firstborn, every firstborn was to put a blue touchet here, signifying I'm a heavenly son. So you can be here and be heavenly. You can be here and be heavenly man. And Paul said we all be earthly. We are born the image of the earth, and the image of the earth is malice, unforgiveness. They are the image of the earth. Mm. So it's time for us to bear the image, image of heaven. Of heaven. Amen. When you become heavenly, you begin to experience divine ascension. God bless you, sir. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> From the outer court to the inner court mm. was actually a resurrection. Yeah. Hey. 